Thank you for choosing Harold G. Shavitz Industries, the sensor connection. Today we will demonstrate how to connect and configure our LPPS series linear potentiometer sensor with a PMD 1XT series digital gauge. We will begin by connecting the linear potentiometer's lead wires to the gauge. The PMD 1XT digital gauge has a built-in 5 volt DC excitation supply on terminals 10 and 6. Excitation positive, which is the brown wire, connects to screw terminal number 10. Excitation negative, which is the blue wire, connects to screw terminal number 6. The linear potentiometer's signal output, which is the black wire, connects to screw terminal number 9. Next, set your power supply to the required input voltage for your gauge. For this example, it is 24 volts DC. Now that the power supply is set to the correct voltage, power it down until after it is wired to the gauge. Then connect the positive wire from the power supply to screw terminal number one and the negative wire to screw terminal number two. We are now ready to apply power to our gauge and begin the programming process. The first step is to calculate the scale factor, which is the full stroke of the linear potentiometer in engineering units. To calculate this, we need to determine the full stroke length of the potentiometer and the gauge's excitation voltage. In this instance, the full stroke length of the potentiometer is 4 inches. The excitation voltage is obtained by measuring the voltage across terminals 6 and 10. Using the multimeter, touch the positive probe to terminal 10 and the negative probe to terminal 6. In this instance, the excitation voltage is 4.997 volts. To calculate the scale factor, the equation is the full stroke length of the potentiometer, which is 4 inches, divided by the excitation voltage, which is 4.997 volts, times 5 equals 4.002. Write this number down for later use. Now we need to program the input type, decimal point, and scale factor. Begin by pressing the set key once. Input code 0089 using the up and right arrow keys. Press the set key again to enter programming mode. Now INTY is on your screen. Here we can change the input type. Press the set key once. Press the up key to choose 5U. This represents 5 volts input. Press the set key once. Press the up arrow key once until DOT is in the display. Press the set key once. Use the up key to determine decimal point position. For this example, we are using three decimal places. Press the set key once. Press the up key once until PUL is in the display window. PUL is the displayed value in engineering units at zero volts when the linear potentiometer is fully retracted. Press the set key once. Use the up and right arrow keys and input any zero value. For this example, we will enter all zeros. Press the set key once. Press the up key until PUH is in the display window. PUH is the displayed value in engineering units at five volts when the linear potentiometer is fully extended. Press the set key once. We will now input 4.002, which is the scale factor number we calculated earlier. Press the set key once. Press the up arrow key five times until end is in the display window. Press the set key once to exit the programming. The PMD 1XT now displays the potentiometer's position from 0 to 4 inches.
Thank you for watching this instructional video. For additional technical resources, please visit our website, hgsind.com. Harold G. Shavitz Industries. Performance and reliability is our business. Thanks for being on our team.